Hey, it's Larry from 3 Plus 1 Outdoors. This is my oldest son, Cody. Well, everyone's seen the mystery tackle boxes. <clears throat> well, Whisker Seeker stepped up their game, and they came out with one for us cat fishermen. So the other day, Cody seen it, and he brought it to my attention, and he, uh, he went and ordered a subscription. I think it was like $80 for the subscription, get three months. You can order it for each month for like thirty dollars a month. Yes, that's what it said. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna open it up and see what we got. All right, got a card in here. Just thanking you for subscribing, and it's got a list of what's in here and what it cost. Uh, first thing on the list is triple thread hooks, six alt hooks. Pretty good looking hooks. Uh, six all uh, circle hooks. Them here. Uh, they have a little little uh, turn to them here. Look like they got a pretty decent gap on them. Uh, I really like circle hooks. Circle hooks have been a game changer when it comes to uh, catfishing. Uh, you no longer have to set your hook. Uh, I know I always tie mine with a uh, no-knot snail, and uh, it seems like every time when we get that takedown, you just crank down on it, pick it up, and that fish about every time will be hooked in the corner of the mouth. I really like circle hooks. Uh, most of the time, now the spring's coming on, I'll probably go to uh, eight alt on my fishing on my fishing rods in the eight, uh, summertime and and for spring and into fall. I like using a, uh, at least an eight alt, and uh, in, in the winter time, we've been doing a lot of winter fishing. I'll use a six alt or or maybe even a little smaller hook because yeah. it downsizes our baits a lot. But getting about time to upsize them baits, and I think fish should go to bite them. We're gonna find out tomorrow if they'll bite a little larger bait. They, they feel good and sharp. Yep. Anyway, uh, Versa rattles. Versa rattles, well, some line rattles. Uh, we uh, we like using these all right. Uh, get one of them out of here. See, you can hear it there. It rattles pretty good. Uh, they're green. That's my favorite color is green, and nothing that, uh, that we do on our on our uh, channel <laughs> do we ever have green. But green is my favorite color. Uh, but anyway. I like using these when you're drift fishing or or trolling, uh, letting it drag and it rattles as it goes. Uh, it's sometimes you get that uh, that instinctive bite or or whatever the fish after that rattle. Uh, Even the wakes when you're anchored up. Yeah, the wake. Yeah, a good yeah, yeah. Too. A lot of times you get a big wake. Sometimes that'll bring on a bite for you. Yeah, I like it. Anyway, uh, next is some bead stops. There you go. All right. Some bead stops. I'll get one of them out here. Look at it. They're a they're a shiny bead, a pretty heavy bead. Uh, the bead stops are great for saving your line uh, <clears throat> when you uh, you know you Carolina rigged or Santee rigged. You got that uh, egg <coughs> sinker on and uh, keep that sinker from coming down hitting your knot on top of your uh, fiber optic. Fiber optic. Yeah, say so, they capture and reflect. Reflect. If I could read, uh, reflect light. Oh, pretty even cool. Even in low light conditions. Oh, that's pretty cool. Then uh, maybe that right there will just uh, entice a bite. Just that, and maybe put one down next to your hook. Little shine like a yeah. little flashlight, like a shine or something. So pretty interesting. All right, and uh, next you get the uh, easy clips. Right there. Easy clips. These here. Uh, this type clip I have never used before. Um, I was watching a video the other night. Uh, I think it was uh, Muddy River, and uh, he was showing showing these clips, using them, and uh, he had a bunch of different rigs there, and he was just showing how easy it was with these uh, clips like this to go from one rig to the other. Uh, I've never used them, so I can't speak on them very much. Uh, they look like a pretty uh, heavy gauged. Steel there. 65 pounds. 12 pack. 
12 pack of them, 65 pounds. So I'd say that's heavy enough. 12 of the beads too. Uh, like I said, we've never used them, but uh, we'll try them out and see how we like them. Look like a big paper clip to me. That's what it looks like, <laughs> for sure. Um, next, two and a half inch peg floats. All right, two and a half inch peg floats. All right, well, we use a lot of, a lot of peg floats uh, out fishing. The ones we have are a foam and they have a slit in them. And you can take, I like them, use them with the slit. You, the peg actually comes out on each end, the ones I use a lot. And you can take them all, on and off your line as you need to. Uh, looks like these here, You'll run this through your leader line and then peg it. Um, I'd say they'll work all right. I do like the ones that you can take on and off with split on without having to retie. Yeah. Uh, with these, I guess to take it off, you'd have to retie. But one thing about these, uh, they do have a, a hole even through the peg. So you're out fishing, you need to catch you some bluegill or something for bait. I guess you could just use this as a slip float, float also, you know. Yeah, probably so. You'd catch you some bluegill with. How many is in there? Yeah. Three in there? There's three of them in here, and uh, I've never used this type, but, well, again. Float to float. Float to float, and we will try them out. They, they do feel pretty heavy. I'd say they'll be all right. What's that? Uh, Rattlers. Camo. Again, something else I've never used, uh, but we will put it through the paces and try it out. It looks like it has a float on it, made out of the same foam as the uh, as the peg floats. Uh, has a couple beads with a piece here in between the beads on each end. Uh, swivel up on one end. Got a steel leader coming off of it with one of the clips. And looks like a little smaller hook, probably a five alt circle hook. Or something like that. Yeah, something, it's a little smaller than the sixes. But still, it looks like a pretty good hook. Uh, I've never used this type of rattle, but I don't see why it shouldn't work. Kind of like the Demon Dragon or whatever. It's a bank. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of rattle to it. Yeah, so. Uh, Again, we'll take these through the paces. Uh, they don't look bad. They look well constructed. So we'll, we'll take these through the paces and try them out also. Yeah, these pre tides have well, wire leads. We have on. a few demon dragons we use. I say it work about the same way. Demon dragon. Speaking of demon uh, dragon. It's an ultra chug. All right. Made just like the demon dragon. I guess. Well, the demon dragon, well, it's got the steel leader already on it. Looks like probably a five alt pretty sharp hook. It just stuck in my thumb. <laughs> uh, got the clip on it. Steel leader coming off. Uh, that is pretty good there. Because, you know, like the Demon Dragons, you have to tie on here and tie on here. Uh, tie it in the middle of your... It's got a pretty good rattle inside it. Kind of like it. I've uh, used a lot of Demon Dragons. I don't know why this won't work. Uh, we'll take it out. Try it out. Try it out. Uh, the other thing it just says in here is a WST decal. Whisker Seeker Tackle. Decal. Another seeker changing the way you catfish. So you get a couple stickers. Uh, they feel like vinyl stickers. Pretty nice stickers. So if you want to put them on your boat or put them on your truck or whatever. You know. Advertise for whisker sinker. But uh, anyway, so we got like, so we'll get three for $80. Yep. So they make them. 26 and a half bucks each or so. 26 50 each box. This box here says it uh, retails for 42 14 But anyway, <clears throat> if you haven't already subscribed, We'd greatly appreciate you uh, hitting that subscribe button. It'll help us out a lot. Now, at the end of this video, uh, there, there'll be a link to a giveaway we've got going on. We're giving away a Pissy Fun Chaos 50 reel. 
and a B and M seven foot six uh, silver cat elite rod, stainless steel uh, guides, eyes on it, uh, aluminum reel seat. It's a real nice uh, outfit, nice rod and reel, almost a hundred fifty dollar rod and reel. Yep. Uh, the details will be in that link in that video on how you can get entered for it. We're going to give it away next Saturday, March the 13th. Uh, hey, as we always say, it's God, family, and the great outdoors. Thanks for watching, and God bless. Hey, guys, if you want my people's videos, make sure to subscribe and click there.